All right, it's Ben, I'm back, and I can finally, finally lend, lend connect. Started this video series a few days ago, uh, how to buy, how to lend, seems to be popular. Wasn't actually able to finish lending because it was taking forever to get LCT transferred over from Coin Exchange to Lend Connect. What, three and a half days later, my uh, balance is cleared. I've waited till I had time to make this video to actually lend so you guys could see what I see as we do it. So, we've got 14 LCT. I had sent 15. If you saw my previous videos, Coin Exchange is gracious to take one LCT as fee as opposed to using a small amount of Ethereum as gas. So, you get ripped off there, transferring LCT out. Keep in mind that you lose one uh, coming over. Once you've got your LCT showing is uh, showing in your balance, you know, let me show you what happens before it's in your balance. Once we're checking your browser for accessing Lend Connect. All right. Uh, previously, when I had sent LCT over, it was sitting here in incoming LCT balance. It was showing as pending, and this happened, I don't know, hours after, maybe half a day after Coin Exchange supposedly sent it. Sat here for another day or two, and now it's finally cleared, and it's showing as 14 coins in my balance. Remember, you have to send over some Ethereum. They recommend, what, 0.005 Ethereum. Uh, for you to accept LCT. So I had sent 0.005, and I believe what happened, now that I've kind of unraveled what occurred, I had to send this to Lend Connect first. This had to sit in Lend Connect cleared before I sent the co tokens over from Coin Exchange. After the tokens were sent from Coin Exchange, Coin Exchange pays a gas fee to get them from Coin Exchange into the contract wallet address for Lend Connect. After the tokens came into the contract wall address for Lend Connect, Lend Connect pulled from my 0.005 Ether balance to pay for gas to then move it from the contract wall to my wallet. Now, if that was tough to follow, hit the rewind button, play it again. Uh, if that confused everyone and you couldn't follow, let me know and I'll spell it out in the description or something. But that's what happened. If you did not move Ether over before you transferred your LCT, it may not show up. In fact, it probably won't. So make sure you follow the instructions here and send that. Now that we've gone through that, we'll, let's see, lending wallet. We'll see this here in a moment. Lending. All right. We've got plan one, plan two, plan three, hundred dollars to 99. And let's see, how are we going to do this? Phil Max. 173. All right, 14 tokens at this price of $12.39. And let's see how different this is from Coin Exchange. They are, well, I need to refresh, it looks like. Let's do that. 1251. 1239. Ah, a, this probably updates every 10 minutes or something. Close enough. I don't really care. Uh, keep in mind, I, I don't know what happens if you send enough L if you don't send enough LCT and, and your value is less than hundred dollars, or you send and you wait five days thinking that it'll be worth a hundred or more and it's not. It'll probably suck. So you know, send a little bit extra. You know, when I initiated my transaction, LCT was quite a bit higher. Uh, but anyways, still still above a uh, hundred bucks. We're gonna hit buy contract, lending contract details. Once you confirm, a new contract will be issued and equivalent tokens will be debited from LCT wallet. Okay, 14 standard. Yep, no extra daily bonus. I'm not putting too much in right now. Added successfully. All right, we see it here. I've got a contract address. Let's click on the lending wallet. Okay, I don't have a dividend yet, so I don't have a balance. I'm assuming in a day I should get, should still be 5%, right? Yep. 5%, I think they said through the 20th or the 21st, and they haven't paid for the 18th or the 19th yet. I'm not sure why there's been a delay. Uh, I haven't kept up with their telegram closely, so maybe there was some news on that. Anyways, I have finally, after several days, and I know several of you went through the same frustration and are probably still waiting, trying to get this lending going, uh, I've finally completed. So 173 bucks. we'll see how this plays out. I will maybe make some update videos on showing how to reinvest. There's going to be, you got this button here, which I added recently. You'll have a USD balance. I can't hit fill max. So I don't have any, uh, any money in there. 
but you can tell it how much of your balance that you've gotten in a dividend you want to reinvest. You hit the confirm button. It looks like you have to have a minimum amount of $10. And then that money gets reinvested into your loan. Now, unlike other lending platforms, when you reinvest, the reinvestment is essentially a new contract. So Lend Connect contracts are, I believe, 120 days, right? Yep, capital in 100, 120 days. So if you, other lending platforms, if you lend, you get a dividend tomorrow and you lend that back, you have to wait another 120 days to get that new balance out. And then, you know, let's say you wait a week and you lend again, you have to wait another 120 days. Lend Connect is letting you reinvest, and then that capital releases when your initial investment releases. That's why you are able to choose a contract address to link that amount to uh, so that whatever you reinvest releases when your contract uh, releases. So, you know, if you have five contracts here, you can lend your dividend under an appropriate contract that you pick. Now, I'm not sure if you earn interest from five of them that you did over a month and you try and lump it all in under the one that expires as soon as that they'll let you do that or not. I don't know if they're keeping track that close uh, and I'm not going to do multiple loans right now to find out. But uh, any of you that do multiple loans, maybe you can let us know in the comments how that's worked out for you. Uh, then this is a new button. Now I was worried about Lend Connect a little bit. My, my issue, I've actually got two issues and we'll, we'll talk about the second one, but the first one I think they've resolved. So they have this internal exchange. You could transfer LCT over, you could invest it, you get your dividend, you could reinvest it, which you couldn't do up until recently was exchange to LCT. So now they've got this uh, option here where you can choose your uh, dividend amount and you can convert it directly over to LCT tokens. Once they're converted to LCT tokens, you could send them back to uh, coin exchange and sell them if you wanted. So at least you have a process to get out, although it's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, Poly Network did the same thing before they opened their internal exchange. Uh, keep in mind when you do this conversion, it's going to be a 10% fee until they introduce their own exchange. They're introducing their own exchange in, gosh, a month, 26 days. I might be a grandfather by then in crypto years. So we'll, we'll see how smooth it goes. I, I'm, I'm very pleased that they are allowing us to convert to LCT and withdraw, and I'll, I'll test this at some point. I was concerned that if they were waiting a month to release their internal exchange and were not letting us convert to LCT, what was going to happen was as soon as they opened up their internal exchange, people will have built up, you know, balances, uh, those that didn't reinvest, and they'll want to dump those and, and get out. Well, the moment they open an internal exchange, that's exactly what people do. It'll be massive sell pressure, there'll be very little buy pressure, and it'll just trash the price of the coin, especially when you do it all at once. Because if you have a balance here and you just want to pull your money out, you know, you, you don't care how much the price fluctuates in a minute or so, because it's probably not going to be that drastic. You know, you'll get your you know, $200, it converts into so many coins, and then you'll pull those coins out immediately into BTC or something and, and get out. So you, the people that are pulling your balance out don't really care what the coin price is. The people who are holding coin do care, and their price, the price of their token will go down when everyone's trying to sell and there's more sellers and buyers. So it seems like they've resolved that issue. That was a, a big relief. I was going to make a video recommending that Lend Connect get an option in there, this exact button, which they did. So now I don't have to make that video. Uh, but I do have, I still do have a concern in that you've got these 120 day, you know, these 120 day loans and people are able to compound those loans. And we'll go through some compounding examples here. I'll get a little bit of math, hopefully it doesn't bore people, but I think it'll be informative. Um, people will be compounding their interest and then pulling out in 120 days. They're going to have capital release, and not only capital release, but capital release with up to, you know, six, seven hundred percent returns if they reinvest um, that they're trying to pull out in 120 days. Well, in 120 days, if Lend Connect hasn't really created some form of a trading bot, manual trading, high frequency trading, uh, arbitrage, whatever, I, I don't know how they're going to pay that interest back uh, or release that capital and, and give them coin and, and their money back if they haven't somehow made that money themselves first, if if not a little bit extra. Now, a lot of other ICOs that you know say, make claims, I, I think what they're really doing is just relying on the appreciation of Bitcoin that they received uh, through the ICO or they're relying on the, co the price of their coin going up. In fact, that's probably what LendConnect was doing for quite a while, right? People were lending at $5. They were, when the when BCC was $5, then the coin eventually goes up to 100 after 120, 260 days, whatever. And, you know, they've made a, a killing, B BitConnect did. 
and were able to pay back the one percent interest at the time. Lend Connect, you know, I'm and again, this is my critique in a previous video on whether or not the future of lending platforms is going to survive. If they don't have a verifiable trading method, of which we've not seen any evidence of, I'm concerned in 120 days if they're going to be able to make good on all these capital releases. So. You know, that's something you have to think about for yourself. If if you lend, you know, if you bought a bunch of coin and you lend it all, uh, is it possible that this platform has a huge issue in 120 days? I don't know. You know, that's that's something you have to decide for yourself. It's certainly a concern I have. I'm not, you know, people might not like that I'm saying this. I'm not saying one way or another whether they do or don't. It's, you know, until they prove that they, they can actually produce those dividends, you know, I've got to assume that there's a good chance that they can't do that. that they, they don't actually have a trading bot. Maybe they're just relying on the appreciation of their coin. So, anyways, uh, that's still a concern. You can make your decision for yourself. Let's see if there's any other updates I want to talk about. Ah, they did release a neat little video. Like I talked about before, they're doing, what, $250,000, $275,000 of uh, marketing campaign. Looks like they're starting to put that to use. Nice. Pretty well done 43-second video. Technical updates. Ah, if you guys are watching my videos and you don't want to wait, or I don't want to wait this 43 seconds, or you want to listen to me uh, get done with this video faster because sometimes I go on and on, you hit this button right here. Ooh, yeah, look at that go. If you put my video on 2x, you'll watch this in 4x. But a uh, cool summary of what they've done over the months. Uh, pretty cool production value. I mean, if they keep if they keep up this type of marketing, this will be great for the platform. If they have this type of marketing and they really have a good trading platform that they're producing profits on their end to pay our dividend and allow our capital release, this thing's going to do really well because the community is really tight-knit. It's got crazy support. Uh, this this could do fantastic. Or if they really don't have anything in 120 days, I'm really worried. So we'll wait and see. Now, I'm not going to lend many more of my coins right now, and I'm going to explain to you why with a short example. So here's a little Excel, uh, you know, compounding interest calculator I built real quick. And it is, the example I'm going to go through, assume someone put $500 into LendConnect as a lending platform. They transferred over 500 worth of LCT today uh, and then lent it. And let's say, you know, we don't know what their interest rate is. Right now they're at 5%, but that's going to stop. Uh, most of these platforms seem to be somewhere between 1% and 2%, so let's say Lund connects a little bit better than most, and we'll put them at 1.7 on average over the next 120 days. So we're going to say our term is 120 days, and they're going to compound every day, and you're not going to earn compounded interest the first day that you lend, so we'll say that there's you know, 119 days that you get paid back uh, in interest on a daily basis. So if you reinvest your dividends every day, so every day you come home from work, you log in, you hit that reinvest button, after 120 days, you'll have turned $500 into $3,779. That's a 655% gain. Yeah, this is fantastic compared to anything else out there. You want to go put your money in a bank and get your 0.02% a day. Uh, that sucks. I mean, this is this is pretty good. Or if you remove your interest every day or you don't reinvest it, 500 will turn into 1,020% or 104% gain. Now, you know, where am I getting the 104% from? It's really coming from this number. Um, Lend Connect is saying, let's see, up to 155% a month. So it sounds like uh, they think they can do a little bit better than than the 1.7% uh, that I was showing. And where did my Excel document go? Where did she go? Here she is. All right. All right. So they they think they'll do a little bit better than that. Let's see, two percent. They said 150. I'm trying to figure out what percent we need to hit to uh, get 140. I could do that math, but I'm lazy right now. 2.2, 2.15. Yeah, so they're gonna be somewhere. They, they they're claiming they're gonna be somewhere in there. So if we stick by this number, 500 dollars becomes six grand, six and a half grand. Or if you reinvest, or it becomes 1,290. So that's uh that's that's pretty good. That doesn't suck. Now, caveat is you have to wait 120 days. In 120 days, what does the platform do? You know, that's when we will that, that's when we will probably find out whether or not they were able to take our lent money and turn it into something more than 2.15%. If they aren't able to do that, there's going to be some real big trouble in 120 days. So 
you can look at this and say, hey, that's a, that's a good gain. I'm going to risk it. Uh, or you could look at this and say, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not going to do so well. So I got another example here that we can go through. And actually, I'm going to get rid of these color codings because now they're not valid for uh, for the numbers I was going to show you down here. But, oh, anyway, it didn't work. So another option. Let's say you bought in the ICO. So the, they had a 50-cent round, a 60-cent round, a 75% round, 90 and a dollar 10 cents around if you average that all it's 77 cents so let's say you bought 500 dollars worth of lct at 77 cents that means you have about 650 tokens now you can hold those tokens and not lend it whatsoever you could just hold them and you can say hey, i'm going to sell it at some point so here we've got a potential future price of lct you know today what do we say it's around 11 12 bucks um, you know it could it could be worth one dollar someday you know, if it's if it's worth one dollar, then you'll get your basically your initial investment back, uh, twenty twenty nine percent gain from your five hundred bucks because you bought it in a nice nice low price. Seventy seven cents became a dollar, and at some point LCT might be worth two bucks, five bucks, ten bucks. That, that, that's what we have in this column. We have future price of LCT multiplied out you get your investment value if you sell at that price and what that percent gain is so where does 1191 percent sit in this chart 1191 it looks like it's about right there so if you wanted you could wait for lct to be worth ten dollars and sell your initial investment of 500 if you bought it 77 cents and you could make as much as you would if you lent it and waited 120 days well, if you got in the ICO and bought five hundred dollars worth of coin, um, you're doing better than this right now because the price of LCT is somewhere in here, right? You'll make a thousand three hundred percent or a thousand four hundred percent. So, for you, why would you lend at that point? Uh, you could sell today and do better than you would in 120 days for that same amount of coin. Now, if you didn't reinvest, you'd make 158 percent. Well, where's 158 percent? That's sitting right here. So if you had bought $500 of LCT at 77 cents, you could wait for LCT to pull back from $11, $12 to $2 and still break even uh, after 120 days of lending if you don't reinvest. Again, now you have to scratch your head and ask yourself, why would I lend at that point if I bought in at this price, this amount, and I can get out way at a way, way higher price than, uh, than if I lend and don't reinvest? So, you know, this... This is a question that you have to answer for yourself. There's a million different examples you could run through. You know, we saw Lend Connect already hit forty dollars. So let's look at what forty bucks does for us. It's a five thousand percent gain for for this scenario, and that gives you twenty five grand, guys. This, this is insane. Almost twenty six grand. So if you would if you would have bought in at this price and sold a couple days ago, you would have done the miracle of turning five hundred dollars into twenty five grand. That's that's amazing. So, again, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm trying to play through some scenarios so that you can think uh, what's best for you. I myself, to be honest, I had bought, what, exactly $500, but I bought the first round at $0.50. Cents. So let's see what that does for us. Uh, looks like if I wanted to lend my full token amount, and I have just around, I had it just around 1,000 tokens, um, Say I lent and didn't reinvest, so I get 158% gain. You know, at what a dollar fifty? I, if LCT is a dollar fifty, I, I'd at least do this well. At 1,191%, that's, you know, somewhere right in here. I can wait for LCT to drop to six or seven dollars, and I would do just as well, if not better, than reinvesting. And I don't have to wait 120 days. Or, I could sell right now and make 2,100 to 2,300% gain, I could sell right now for 11 or 12 grand. If I can sell right now for 11 or 12 grand and I don't have to wait 120 days and I can realize this on coin exchange, why would I put all my coin and reinvest it and, and wait that long? I, I, I wouldn't and I'm not going to, well, which is why I'm probably not gonna lend anymore right now. Now, if the price of LCT goes back up to 30, $40, might I sell half, uh, lend it to support the platform if they're doing well and then you know, hope that this mark that everyone's talking about happens. Uh, sure, I might, I might do that. We'll, we'll, we'll see how things play out. You know, that's incredible too, guys. If, if this hits a hundred bucks, and at least for my my own scenario here, uh, if you held the coin, that that's a hundred grand. That's outrageous. 
you know, two, 200 bucks, 200 grand. These are outrageous percentages. You know, and I'll, I'll just run through one more example for people. Cause I know there's quite a few that watch this that did not get in, in the ICO. So let's say, I don't know, over the past couple of days or before the, the big pop, maybe you bought in at five bucks and let's say you'd put $500 in, you'd have a hundred tokens. Uh, in this scenario, maybe the lending starts to look more realistic for you. If you lend and don't reinvest again, $158, or I'm sorry, 158%, we see that around this price range. Hey, that looks pretty darn close to where we're at today. So if you sell your coin today, if you bought $500 worth at five bucks, uh, this this wouldn't be ICO price at that point, it'd just be price. And Lend Connect is at 12 to $13, which is pretty close to now. You would do just as well as if you had lent and not reinvested, but you don't have to wait 120 days. Uh, the 1,191%, where is that? 1,191. All right, for this person, they have to wait for 95 or $100 to hit. So, you know, when is that going to happen? I, I, you know, don't know the future. It's certainly conceivable that it might take a month or two. Um, DeVore did it quicker than that, but, you know, we wanna, don't want to compare everything to DeVore. You, know, you, you may decide that you want to lend at least half of this, reinvest it, risk this 120 days, see if LCT can actually pay you back, and maybe you save the other half and sell it to some other price point you decide. Uh, again, I, I don't want to exhaust a million different scenarios, but you know, do this analysis yourself. Uh, make a plan on what you're going to do because a lot of us have a good, healthy profit right now. After you decide what makes you happy and what you feel comfortable with, write that plan down with a pen and paper. Stick it next to your monitor where you go check LCT every day so you're reminded and stick to that damn plan. You know, uh, there's a lot of us on this team that have done day trading. Uh, myself, I've done quite a bit of day trading at the beginning. I can't tell you the spankings I took because I got into a trade and I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to get out, uh, you know, at, at, at this, you know, 20% gain. You know, the stock's going up, going up, and I see 20, and then you see 21% gain, 22% gain. You're like, oh, it's, it's going to keep going up. And you might see 25% gain, and you're sitting there uh, on a high. And then suddenly something happens, and it drops, and 20% becomes zero, becomes, you know, minus 5, minus 10, and you, and you lost out. And I didn't stick to my rules. I didn't stick to my plan. You get screwed. Now, you, you may have a bad plan. You might get screwed anyways, uh, and, and you might get lucky. But for all these ICOs going into them, you, you need to decide what your plan is. You need to stick to it. It needs to be reasonable. So be smart. Do your own analysis. Got a sign-up link in the description. If you're not in LCT and you want to get in, we'll keep doing update videos. Yeah, we're hoping big hopes for LCT, but let's be realistic. Don't get too attached to any one of these platforms. Don't become a cheerleader for them uh, with regards to not being realistic about what can actually happen. You know, any of this can go and disintegrate at any time. We just learned that with Lend Connect. People were shocked. You know, I myself thought that it probably had at least another six months to a year left in it, and they pulled out. So, you know, be realistic. This is your money. You need to do what's best for you. So do your analysis and make the best decision that helps you out financially. Please like, subscribe, comment. Catch you later.